Hello, Silver Foxes. It's Gavin. And Peel. Bringing you this week's newsletter. Before we begin, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any important announcements. We'd also like to give a special thank to our sponsors for their continued support. Last weekend, the 8th grade NHD students represented Toms and Horry County at the NHD state competition in beautiful Sumter, South Carolina. We are excited to announce that for the fifth year in a row, Ted Oaks will be sending students to the national competition where they will represent our school, county, and state. Twelve of the fourteen students we took were awarded a medal. Please congratulate the following students for their achievements and hard work. Ten Oaks earned a clean sweep in the junior group performance category, with first place going to Mariana Cotton, Kirsten Moore, and Lillian Thomas for their project, Crossing Frontiers for Black Americans, the Black Wall Street of America. Second place went to Trevor Chestnut and Jackson Uphold for the election of 1796, the era of elections. And third place went to Brooke Blackburn, Abby Cook, Ava Domino, Mary New Ellen for their project, Inside a Criminal's Mind, The Frontiers of Psychological Profiling. In the Junior Group Website category, third place went to Matthew Kellner, Kareem Nuhid, and Jordan Stefanski for a frontier in the world of medicine, the small packs vaccine. First and second places will advance to the national competition, and our third place finishers will be national competition alternates. The Colonial Dames Award for American History went to Trevor Chestnut and Jackson Uphold for the election of 1796, the era of elections. We would also like to recognize Adrena Acosta and Eliana Hutchinson for representing Ten Oaks so well through the regional and state contests. All these students have worked incredibly hard since August on these projects. We appreciate the support and patience staff has shown the NHD program, as the kids not only learn historical and critical thinking skills, but also perfect their products in order to teach others. On to Washington, D.C. Last Monday, students from Ms. McKee's and Ms. Shriver's class traveled to Doug Shaw Stadium to compete in the Special Olympics. Special Olympics is for our students to compete in track and field events. They either ran 50 meter or 100 meter, and then had a softball throwing event. Several peer mentors from 8th and 7th grade also traveled with these students. All of our students who participated came in 4th place or higher for their event and received an award. Thank you to Ms. McKee, Ms. Shriver, and all of the staff who helped make this awesome day possible. Way to go! On Wednesday and Thursday of last week, students who met their math goals were able to attend special bonus activities during recess and Tom's time. These activities include popsicle treats, extra recess time, and times on inflatables. The students had a great time and we congratulate them on their math test success. For this week's lunch menu, Monday will contain Bosco cheese sticks, a dough sandwich and chips, corn, broccoli with ranch, carrots with ranch, pineapple chunks, and an assortment of fresh fruits. Tuesday contains a chicken filet sandwich, yogurt bundle, frenchy fries, carrots, applesauce, and an assortment of fresh fruit. Wednesday possesses cheesy bites with marinara or turkey chef salad, seasoned pinto beans, green beans, peaches, and an assortment of fresh fruit. The Thursday bundle encompasses chicken chunks, white or wheat rolls, yogurt bundle, sweet potato casserole, steamed cabbage, pineapple, and an assortment of fresh fruities. On Friday, you'll find pizza or nachos grande, garden salad, corn, mandan oranges, and an assortment of fresh fruit. That's, That's all, all for this week, week Silver Foxes. Foxes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any important announcements. Don't forget, success, nothing less. <laughs> Hello, Silver Foxes, it's Gavin and... Hunter. <laughs> Last weekend the... Mm, <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> you wanna you laugh? You laugh, you messed up. Last week, the eighth and grade... And we're gonna stop? Last weekend, the eighth grade's NHO students represented Wrong. Tom... It's NHD. NHD, so, shut up. Work. <laughs> Where are we starting? <laughs> Ten Oaks earned a clean sweep in the junior group performance category with first place going to Mariana Cotton, Kirsten Moore, and Lillian Thomas for their project, Crossing the Frontiers for Black Americans, the Black Wall Street of America. Hmm. Oh, um. Do that again. <laughs> first place going to Mariana Cotton, Kirsten Moore. Shut up! <laughs> Cotton. What the heck? Bro, I can't see. You Shut up! I'm sure you did.
second place went to Trevor Chestnut, Jackson Uphill. <laughs> Take it from second place. Why'd you call him Chestnut? <laughs> second place went to Trevor Chestnut. And I said Chestnut. My Bro, bad. Say Chestnut. My bad. You did it too early. Hmm? Is it going or not? It's going. You did it in three months. Did you go eat? Can I check my phone? The Colonial Dames. <laughs> <laughs> we would also like to recognize Audrina Acosta. Hey. Unfortunately, why? We're no one for the election of 1796. <laughs> what just happened? All of these students have worked incredibly hard since August on these projects. We appreciate the support and patience staff has shown the NSD programs as the kids not only learn historical and critical thinking skills, but also perfect. Okay, we'll take it from all of these students. All of these students have worked incredibly hard since August on these projects. We appreciate the support and patience staff has shown the NXT program. <laughs> Come on. Why are you looking at NBC? We appreciate the support and patience staff has shown the NXT program as the kids not only learn historical and critical thinking skills, but also perfect their products in order to teach others. On to Washington, D.C. Nothing less.